Hey going there folks, Paul Bars signing back in another video in the WordPress video tutorials. Thank you so much for coming to join with me. Now that we've worked out the theme that we're going to be using or the basis of the theme that we're going to be using, we need to start looking at some of the plugins that are going to make this thing work. Coming down here on the dashboard, we can see here the plugins menu. Now currently I don't have too many plugins because I've just done the default installation. These ones are here, Akismet and Hello Dolly. Okay, Akismet, vital, vital, vital plugin. Helps get rid of a whole bunch of spam, so we'll configure that one shortly. Hello Dolly, however, don't need. Delete, just get rid of it. It's, uh, I don't know why you'd want a random lyric from uh, Hello Dolly appearing on your website. But it just comes with it, and maybe that's someone's uh, sense of humor going, ha, 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 let's have some fun. But the plugins are the things that, you know, really juice it up and, and make things work. So we want to start adding some new ones. Again, a couple of different ways we can do this. Mostly, most commonly, if you're just looking at one at a time, would be to search a particular plugin and then click the install button. Now I have here a list of plugins that I want to be using and they all come with the expert WordPress uh, automatic installer. But for example, as I scroll down here, I might just um, have a quick look. Uh, all right, there's one, WP Print, WP Polls. Don't really need the polls or post views, but these plugins, there's a Kismet already there, all in one SEO pack and so on. Let's do a search for this one. Show you how, I can, how you can find these things. So we search for something called All-in-One SEO Pack. Here we go. There it is, All-in-One SEO Pack. There are other versions, but I'm looking for this particular one here. Now, if I want to install this, it's simply a matter of just clicking Install Now. Yes, I do want to install it because I already know what this one is. And this is essential. This is a corker, this one. Great for so on. Not yet activated. Let's check back in our plugins page and you'll see that. There it is, but not yet activated. Well, I won't activate it just yet. We'll do that in a few moments. But the other way, of course, is to simply come back to our good old uh, FTP program. If I go back to our content, refresh this, and here now in the plugins area, Double click on that one. Let's see. What do you what, what do you think is going to be in there at this point of time? Yeah, that's right. There they are. What I want to do is simply upload those that I had from there beforehand. Here they are. I've got this one installed already. That's installed already. But these other ones here. Simply do that, and off we go. Now, I think I, for the moment, I will take those particular ones out. I'll leave that one in, show you that one along the way. This is just what I'm thinking of for this particular site. And then I'm going to click Upload, and it's going to go and send them all up to the web. So I'll pause this video while it does it, and then we'll come back and take a look. Okay, that's now done. Don't you love the magic of television? As we can see here, scrolling through, they've all been uploaded. Now, that's the slow way of doing it. The quick way, of course, is just to use the Add New and upload them from there from a zip or to do, do the search. So, looking down now in my plugin section, I have a whole bunch of them all there and ready to go. None of them are yet activated. Plus, you'll also notice many of them. For example, here we go, a Kismet. There's a new version available, I can update there. New version of the all-in-one SEO available, comment, love, and so on and so on as I scroll down. So let's deal with those things next, and we'll take a break from this video. This is Paul Bars from paulbars.com, signing off. Bye-bye.